Hi and welcome to MTG Mansion. I've not done a spoiler for quite a while as I've been really really busy. But uh, I've come back so no worries I'll be going through all the spoiler cards for Cunts of Takia. And this is my first spoiler card they have been doing. And it is Mocking Instigator. It's a 2-1 Goblin Rook creature for 1 and red. With Morph 2 and red. Okay, uh, Morph is a new mechanics returning in Cunts of Takia. So basically you can cast... A morph card to become a 2-2 creature for 3 mana, for 3 colors. And as a 2-2 creature, being a morph creature, it is colorless and it is, uh, is nameless. It is creature typeless as well, if I'm not wrong. And you'll be able to turn it face up anytime for its morph cost. And its morph cost could be anything from by like, paying mana or by doing something. For example, revealing a card from your hand. And for Mocking Instigator, when it is turned face up, it is your turn. Gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap it against haste until end of turn. And this card I think is really really awesome. And for every single block set, it has a sort of a similar function as the card like Act of Treason. Basically, very very typical raid card, gaining control of a target opponent's creature, giving it haste until end of turn. To swing in for the win or just swing in for that much more damage that you can do per turn so really really good card I would say and that's the first card for my spoiler and moving on to the next card and next card we have Sage of the Inward Eye a 3-4 Jin Wizard creature for 2 blue red white and uh, it's flying whenever you cast a non-creature spell creatures you control gains life link until end of turn so really really interesting card and uh Jin Wizard. Very very interesting. And so for Kans of Takia it is a wedge set and for this it is blue, red, white. I've not really remembered all the card clans as yet, so I really have no idea. It might be the Jeskai clan? <laughs> I think so, but anyway, uh, Sage of the Inward Eye. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures you control gains life link until end of turn. Quite interesting, definitely a limited bomb, but being played in standard constructed uh, might not be the case. Let's see what uh, turns out for the wedge set. And moving on to our next card. And next we have Crater's Claws, our sorcery spell for X and Red. It deals X damage to target creature or player and with ferocious. It deals X damage plus 2 to that creature or player instead if you control a creature with power 4 or greater. And yes, ferocious is a new mechanics in Cans of Takia. And primarily it is in the Teamers clan. And what it does is if you have a creature with power 4 or greater, it gets to do something even better for the card. And there you go for Kratos. Claw, it deals 2 more, plus X, whatever X that uh, is the mana that you pay. I think this card is quite awesome, especially in aggro, especially in control maybe. But usually control with power 4 or greater will be quite late game and therefore they have the amount of mana to do you just X damage plus 2 more. So Critter's Claw, pretty good card I'll say. And moving on to our next card. And the last card that I think spoiled for now is Clever Impersonator. It's our zero zero shape shifter creature for two and blue blue. You may have Clever Impersonator enter the battlefield as a copy of any non land permanent on the battlefield. The keyword is non land permanent. It is just this is not just a clone card that just clone your creature. You can have it enter as a copy of any non land permanent on the battlefield. And therefore, it's mythic rare type. I think this card is super crazy. It is just so flexible that you can use it like crazy. So I think uh, this card will see a lot of play. You can use it to clone your creatures. You can use it to clone your enchantment. Use it to clone your artifact. And especially in uh, this set and Teros, there's so many enchantments that are so useful. And there's artifact spells. They are very very useful as well in tons of Takia and so far I've seen one that is uh, Ghost Bay can copy God Sand although it is a legendary artifact so eh. But very very interesting 
clever impersonator will see uh, what more interesting synergies it will have with uh, other sets that's with the other card that's coming out. And there you go, this is my first spoiler for Cunts of Tark here. I'll be catching up on the rest of the spoiler cards pretty soon. So please stay tuned for more. And as always, if you'd like to support the channel, okay, please do hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.